Welcome to Pythagoras Engineering. In the previous tutorial we have discussed about computing stress intensity factor using semi-elliptical crack. Now in this tutorial, we will see how to computing stress intensity factor using pre-meshed crack option. To demonstrate about pre-meshed crack, I am taking one example which was published in the paper, mixed mode crack tip parameters for different wheel positions relative to a vertical crack at the rail foot in this article. Author has taken rail track and wheel model. He has observed variation in results like K1, K2, and T stress by considering different positions of the wheel relative to the crack location. In this session, I have taken one case to demonstrate how to compute stress intensity factor through pre-meshed crack option. Later, simulation results are compared with published results. Figure 1 shows the 3D model of rail track and wheel. It also shows position of the wheel relative to the crack. Figure 2 shows material properties of the rail and wheel. 245 kN load is applied in vertical direction. Surface traction of 42 kN is applied in horizontal direction. Coefficient of friction 0.17 is applied between two surfaces. Figure 3 shows boundary conditions. Symmetry boundary conditions are considered at cut surfaces of the rail. Bottom of the track is constrained in vertical and horizontal directions. Rotation is also constrained. This is the 3D model of wheel and track which was considered for analysis. Firstly, structural analysis without the crack was performed. To perform fracture mechanics analysis, a sub-model approach was used to get accurate results and to save the computation time. This is the wheel, and the track model. Materials are assigned as discussed in the previous slide. And, friction coefficient 0.17 is considered at the interface between two components. Higher order elements are considered to capture the bending effect. Mesh the model with local body sizing such that the mesh criteria are met. Under analysis settings, standard earth gravity was given in vertical direction for accounting self-weight of the structure. Vertical force and traction force are given as discussed in previous slide. Bottom of the track is constrained in y and z direction along with rotation x, and frictional support is given at the ends of the track which replicates symmetry boundary condition. With these boundary and loading conditions the model was solved, and the deformation and stress distribution were extracted. Now we will see how to perform fracture mechanics analysis using submodeling technique. Submodeling technique is generally used at a particular region of interest, of the global model. To perform the submodel approach, cut boundary constraints of the global model are mapped onto the cut faces of the submodel. User has to remember the following points while performing the submodeling approach. 1. If any displacements and loading conditions applied on the area of interest, are to be applied on the submodel. 2. Submodel should be far away from boundary conditions, to get the accurate results. In this problem, this is the region where crack was initiated. Small portion of the body was taken from the global model. And through crack was modeled with high 8 mm and zero thickness is modeled as shown. This is the submodel, where crack was inserted. Materials are assigned and meshed. Local coordinating system was created on the same edge, and orientation was adjusted as discussed in previous tutorial. Before going to select pre-meshed crack, nodes corresponding to the crack edge has to be selected. Select the edge corresponding the crack location, and generate a name selection. And convert this edge to nodal name selection. Now under Fracture tab. Select pre-meshed crack, and under the details of pre-meshed crack, at crack front, select the nodal component which was created. Select the corresponding coordinating system, and enter the solution contours to be 3. In order to map the cut boundary constraints from the global model to submodel, solution of the global model has to be linked to the setup of the submodel. Once this setup is done, you will see submodel folder under analysis settings. Click on the submodel, and select the cut boundary constraint option, and then choose the cut surfaces and update. After solving the model, K1 is extracted and compare with results from the journal. This slide shows the results comparison between research paper and ANSYS. K1 from ANSYS was observed as 5.55 MPa square root of meter. This value is very close to results from research paper. Thank you for watching and in the coming video we will discuss about arbitrary crack, and methodology of crack propagation simulation. This video is a part of Pythagoras Engineering Tutorial Videos. P is an engineering consultant and training firm located in Hyderabad. Specialized in finite element analysis, CFD and product design.
We have been into engineering simulation for the past 15 years and had developed ANSYS training series, that maximizes your engineering simulation and time and investment. Please visit our website for detailed training curriculum and also invite you to visit our engineering blog where we share out insight for many years of performing engineering simulation. We will explain all concepts with industrial examples.